It's Vlog172. It's me, Jaime the Shutting Cartoonist Musician Rambling Dude. And it's my vlogcast from the Corn Tortilla Press World Headquarters located in Alameda, California. That island that floats off the coast of Oakland, California. Or right there in the San Francisco Bay. Literally. Um, finishing up my first cup of coffee this morning. As you can see, the background's a little different. Um, as I mentioned in previous, probably yesterday, uh, video, we move stuff around and I'm still in the studio. I'm just now on the sitting on the opposite side of where I usually sit facing towards my drawing table. This is the shelf we put up there. It's almost filled. Uh, for today, I will be going to the post office this morning to mail out a bunch of stuff. The most embarrassing thing I have to mail out today and by embarrassing, I mean, cause I forgot, uh, I have to, I did a bunch of work for somebody <laughs> and, uh, they just wrote me the other day saying, hey, uh, we, we do have to pay you, right? What do we owe you? And I was like, oh, my God, I forgot to bill them. You know, so I'm sending out a bill today. And we're doing it by mail. We're not doing it. Uh, boy, my beard's getting scraggly. We're, uh, yeah, we're not doing it online. This, this, there, there's two different people I occasionally do artwork for. And we, we just do the old, old school, here's your check kind of thing. Um, today, we're going to talk about comics. I know, surprised, huh? Why would I talk about comics? <laughs> no, but I know I've been on a comics jag, but since I've been moving the room around, um, I have a bunch of stuff out and I, you know, figured I'll just keep it going for a little bit. Excuse me. Organic French roast. Delicious. Okay. Let me see here. All right. We're working on looking at these. Okay. <clears throat> I'm back now. Um, I've been meaning to do these two for a long time and I'm presenting them as a duo because Though they're individual cartoons and work on their own individual stuff, they occasionally do stuff together, and they're partners. They will be married soon this year. We were supposed to have this month, actually, but then COVID hit. I was very honored I got invited, so we were looking forward to it, man. But um, they're still getting hitched. It's just going to be, you know, we're adapting. All of us are adapting right now. And right now I'm going to talk about, first, the work of Lawrence Lindell. I'm holding up this particular book because I like them all, but I just, this one... You know, I don't see people talk about it enough. <clears throat> and as you can see, the title couldn't afford therapy, so I made this. And this is uh, Lawrence's, uh, that's Lawrence right there. Almost looks exactly like him. Uh, this is a, a book that's pretty damn deep, man. He he's talks about, um, you know, coming up as a young guy and a young person in, in the world, you know, and trying to figure out their place. It's like anybody trying to figure out your place here on this uh, third stone from the sun <clears throat> and um, his art style I like it it's very fluid it very it goes from different styles he has like more rounded uh, almost you know little haha -ha comic styles to like more almost I don't know squared off almost lithographic kind of prehistoric drawings and, and it's I just love it I just love his work and his writing, the stories are really, really deep. It's a lot of processing about gender issues, uh, his parents' divorce. We, we can, a lot of us can relate to that. Being a nomad, being shipped around. Uh, uh, boy, I know that one too. You can go around, see, this is art cycle. You know, there's just stuff that's just incredible. And so Lawrence is a very, uh, it's very deep stuff and very uh, insightful. And I highly recommend it. As you can see, I didn't mark any pages because I'm just that much of a scatterbrain. But I like to tell people, just, you know, think, think of me as a jazz musician, and these are just improvisational riffs. And uh, here's how you can get a hold of Lawrence. I'll put that up there. Hold it up for a minute. I know he's on Instagram. I don't have a Twitter account, so I don't know if he's still, because I know he's jumped off a couple of things recently. And I'm sure the email, you can get a hold of him. But Lawrence Lindell, he's also creator of this consortium that's going on right now called the Baileys here. And it's on Instagram. And the Baileys is like a combined uh, Bay Area and Dailies because it's about cartoonists of Baileys. And uh, I'm very honored. It features, it highlights certain cartoonists, you know, that are here in the Bay Area. And I'm very honored and, and, and pleased that he picked me. I was, I was in there too. I was on one of the Instagram uh, spotlights, I guess you can call it. I'm having a hard time today finding words. Um, I think I got a little little thrown off here. We had the 7.30 this morning or 7.25. We already had the gardeners out, you know, 
and blowing stuff up. Okay, now, now how I met Lawrence was through his partner, and that's Brina. Brina Nunez Peralta, or Breens, as we like to call her. Brina's a sweetheart, great cartoonist, and she's also another insightful writer and thinker. And Brina I met, oh boy, I think maybe at the Latino Comics Expo, which is going on right now, by the way. Oh, it's, it's virtual, but go on there, uh, LCE or LEX, or LCX, the Latino Comics Expo. It's, it's uh, online right now. Um, I think you could sign up still. I'm not sure. But uh, <clears throat> that's going on all week. But anyway, uh, yeah, I met Brina, and uh, just, you know, just like she's like my, my, my niece or something. She's my little pal. And uh, then she met Lawrence, and... Yeah, they were supposed to get married this month, actually, but COVID hit, of course, and it's kind of fucked all of us up. But uh, they're still getting hitched. It's just uh, going to probably do it virtually and a little later. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to I was really looking forward to going to the, to the, to the wedding. But, you know, I'll do it virtually. And uh, I want to bring up one of Brina's works here, and that's Being Half Guatemalan, where she's, uh, you know, Afro-Latina or Latinx. I'm, I'm trying to stay up on top of what, what terms we're using now. And... The, the title self-explanatory and I love Brina's artwork and so forth. Um, I love the production of this too. These are just, it's really beautiful. And, uh, I'm trying to try and uh, find some, uh, and it's also about her, you know, finding herself. I love this picture of her. I think of Brina as Prince <laughs> and, uh, you know, finding yourself in this world and how you fit and, you know, cause you know, we're, we're all, you know, we all grow up with this, uh, uh, these labels of fixed and these little groups you got to kind of try to fit into. And the, the part is, is that you don't, right? Because there is no like group for just you, you know, granted there might be, there's other people that are, you know, uh, uh Latin Afro Latinx, but it's not, a. <laughs> I like stop confusing us with your watermelons. But anyway, um, Brina brings up a lot of that in here and, and how, where you fit in and how we're like, you know, why, why are these here, these little labels? And both Brina and Lawrence are just great cartoonists, but I, I really like, um, like the way she brings that up. Cause I mean, I had to come up that way too. I'm, I'm mixed, you know, I'm, I'm half, <clears throat> I'm half. My father was, I look more like my dad. My father was of Southern European descent, you know, he's Spanish and, and Portuguese and with Hawaiian roots, I mean, they're not Hawaiian, but I mean, where they lived before they came to the mainland. <clears throat> and then my mother, she's from Mexico. She's from Northern Mexico, but she's Native American, you know, she's a Yaqui and Apache. So it's, uh, yeah, you know, so growing up, you know, so, and you know, and I was raised in a lot of black neighborhoods too. So just to add a little bit more of the mix, you know, and I moved back and forth between black and a working class white neighborhood. You know, and being in the white neighborhood, holy beans, man, I was way out of step then with everybody around me. But that was a long time ago. But I love how they're bringing this up now. You know, we never had that before. And, um, well, where am I? Tamale Man shirt, Eric Garcia, uh, another great cartoonist. Um, but anyway, so look into these guys. They're both Bailey's people as well. You can find Brina on Instagram. I don't know if she's on Facebook. A lot of the younger people I notice have have kind of hopped off of Facebook. <laughs> I guess it's for us old folks now. But anyway, that's about, oh, Christ, another eight plus minutes. could be nine minutes. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but I, hopefully you check all this stuff out. Um, I have, like I said, a lot to do today. Um, I'm glad you joined me. If you have to go out today, which I have to do, please mask up. That's what I'm going to do. Wash and sanitize your hands a ton. Not as much as possible, even more so. Uh, keep your distance from people. This, this uh, virus is real. Some people think it's just, it's just a flu, you know, nah. And I know the percent of how many people is still low in, in the sense of numbers and percentages, but <clears throat> doesn't mean it won't be you. And one is, why is it just few deaths are okay? Why are any deaths okay? You know, and it's, it's going to get worse, especially at the rate we're going with everybody's, not everybody, but a good portion of the populace with this blase attitude. So keep, keep inside, keep clear of each other. But the most important part I like to stress here is be kind to yourself and be kind to others. That's the best thing to do. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe down below. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.